Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Dragon Ball Legends. Today we're talking about Goku and Smash Bros. And why he really, I don't think, will ever be in Smash Bros. And a lot of guys already know exactly why this is. But I felt like maybe talking about it, it's a different type of video for my channel. Uh, but I got a lot of comments on the Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 on Wii U video about Goku being in Smash because he's on that game and it's going to be on the Switch. Um, that doesn't really mean he's going to be in Smash Bros. And obviously people have been wanting him in Smash Bros. for a very long time. He's been on a lot of those uh, lists that you vote for who you would want the next character to be. The thing about Smash Bros that a lot of you guys do know and understand and, and do fully grasp the reality of the situation. Number one, I love Smash Bros. I love Dragon Ball. If they could mix, that'd be amazing. But the real reality of the situation is that Nintendo doesn't do this kind of stuff with Smash Bros. Um, I double checked in the info because I remember hearing it before. For third party characters, that that being not ones that Nintendo has made themselves. Third party characters, which would be Goku, they have to have originated in a video game. Now, tell me, where did Goku start? It was in a manga chapter, wasn't it? He didn't start in video games, and I think a lot of people be like, oh, well, yeah, but he's huge, so he can be in, this, in the games. What logic does that make? I mean... It's never been done before to my knowledge, so why would it start now with Goku? Yeah, he's a huge character, but and honestly, in my eyes, especially playing Super Smash Flash 2, uh, he doesn't fit in with all those characters at all. Now, the only thing I can say is they had Solid Snake in Brawl, but he was a third-party character that originated in video games, and he was on a Nintendo console. And, but the thing is weird is that people are talking about this now because of Xenoverse on the Switch. But this isn't the first Dragon Ball Z game that's been on Nintendo. Tenkaichi 3, Tenkaichi 2, both on the Wii. Uh, Budokai 3, 2, 1, all on GameCube and others. So it's not like it's the first time this has happened. Again, it would be amazing to have Goku in that gameplay style with all the polish that Nintendo would bring it. But again, the reality is it's just not something that's going to happen in my eyes. I'm pretty confident of that. I'm sure... Most people agree here, but there's going to be a lot of people that are just going to hate or dislike the video just because I'm honestly spitting out the truth and they can't handle the truth or they can't uh, put their minds to, to accept it at all and they're just going to get angry and that's just the internet for you. And I'm not trying to bash anyone that wants Goku or thinks it's possible. Just understand that I'm bringing the information here. Do with it as you will and don't get angry. So I think I pretty much said all I need to say. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like. It does help the channel. And if you disliked it, feel free to dislike the video and um, speak out and let your voice be heard in the comments down below. But other than that, I thank you guys for watching this video. And of course, I'll catch you later.